up YouTube. It's your girl. <laughs> okay, what is up you guys? It's your girl Jimmy Laria and I'm back with another video. It's a new week. Same me. Still here. My dear. <laughs> but um I just want to say go ahead and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell because how are you going to know when I post stuff and your notification bell isn't on? And if you're not going to subscribe, why are you even here? Do you even like me? But anyways, today's video is going to be a review on, I already opened it, but Morphe. 35G bronze goals palettes. Now, first off, I just want to say this palette is mostly neutral colors because it is a quote unquote bronze palette. Let me open it for you. Look at all those beautiful bronze colors. Natural, neutral. Morphe babes. Now let me show you guys the box it came in. I'm gonna read to you what it says on the box. This is the box that it came in. It looks very much like the palette. Actually, it's like the same thing as the palette. Um, on the back it reads as following: 35G Bronze Goals, 35 shades for bomb bronze looks. Bronze out and keep on glowing with these beyond creamy, highly pigmented, super blendable eyeshadows. A tantalizing mix of shimmering coppers, matte browns, and glistening golds. This palette is totes golds. Mm. Okay, Morphe. Okay, Morphe. Now, one thing. One thing that ticks me off about Morphe, bruh. Why are y'all still putting the names on a sheet, my guy? Like, could you not? Look at that. Why are y'all still doing that? Y'all could literally put the names right, right there without an issue in the world. Like, y'all have all that space underneath there. Look and tell me if those could not. Look at it. Look at that. Look. If it it's right underneath it, Morphe. Can y'all please do that for me? Like, this is this is frustrating. How am I gonna remember the name of it when I'm recording a video when I gotta constantly look for this? Like, come on. Other than that, from the looks of it, it's a pretty nice palette. Morphe is probably, they've already done that, so you don't need to see me swatch it. I mean, why would you wanna see me swatch it? I really want to use that one because you know what that green will go really well with my other palette oh my god and if you're sitting there thinking hey I really like her hair thank you I recorded this while I was doing it and I will be posting it for those that really like my hair you know I do to myself really appreciate it I know like I got foundation on that's not my foundation I just went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera because it takes me a while to get my eyebrows precise actually no it doesn't it doesn't take me that long at all to be honest with you and I ordered two Morphe palettes I'm not gonna do a review on this one because this palette is kind of old um it's a 35m palette boss mood palette and um I'm just now getting it. I ordered this one because I really liked it. And I couldn't get the James Charles because everybody keeps ordering it and it keeps getting out of stock. So I don't care. But the reason why I really want to do that green. <clears throat> hold up. Give me a second. The reason why I want to do that shimmer right there on the what fourth row. That one right there. It would look really good with one of those greens. You could stack those colors to blend it out. You could even use that one right there, whatever that's name. 
Okay, and this one is upside down. See, this is what I'm talking about, Morphe. Like, you see, I got to look up here to see the names. Green with Envy. It would go well with that one. But we're going to hop right into this tutorial. That's my take on the palette. That's all I think of it. It's a really great palette. I really can't say much until I actually use it. But I can just go off looks right now. And from the looks of it, it looks really good. And I'm just going to start off with a concealer base for like an eyeshadow primer. And basically what I'm doing is I'm just covering the whole eyelid with that concealer. And I'm kind of using a lighter shade than what my skin tone is. And then I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics foundation brush to blend that out. Make sure you get it really even so it won't be um, so the colors can blend well. And um, I usually use concealer, but sometimes I don't. I might use a eyeshadow primer, but majority of the time I use concealer. Oh my God, I have a hair and it works pretty well. I Next, I'm gonna go in in the shade Naked. Um, it's a very interesting name, but I'm gonna put that a little bit above the lid and I'm gonna just place that color right there and then I'm gonna blend it out later with another color. Next, I'm going to go in, in the shade Heat Wave and I'm going to put that on top of the shade Naked and just blend that out. And then I'm going to blend that color out later on with the lighter shade. Next, I'm going to cut my crease. On this look, I decided to do a kind of high cutting cut crease. I don't know why I just decided to. I was just experimenting right here, to be honest. But with your cut crease, you kind of want to cut over the lid. Um, it depends on what kind of look you're doing. Like if you're trying to achieve a subtle look or a natural look, you would cut a smaller crease. But with this, I just decided to do a bigger crease just because I was bored. But um, I'm using the same concealer that I use to prime my lid and I'm just using that with a flat brush or an angle brush you can use either or but I prefer a flat brush and I'm just gonna cut my crease Okay, so I've already done one lid and I'm going in, in the shade Summer Vibe. It's the kind of orange shade in the middle. And I know it's like the springtime, but this gives me a kind of fall vibe instead of a bronze look. I don't know. Then I'm going to go in in the shade Deep End on the outside um, crease just to deepen the eyeshadow look a little bit. And you don't wanna put too much on it because it's a black um, shade and you don't wanna make it look too, too dark. Then I'm gonna go in with the best foundation, or well, best drugstore foundation ever my fit me and i am the shade 330 yeah i think that's the shade toffee caramel or whatever but yeah i've been using this foundation for the longest it was actually my first foundation i will be trying other foundations but this is just the one that gets me right i guess so and in this one i'm using the matte i usually use the dewy but you know whatever and so then I'm going to go with my e.l.f. contour palette. I'm going to take that shade right there and put it around my hairline. Just to get rid of any patchiness or awkward colors. And then I'm going to mix both of those for a slight contour. Not too much. Because I'm really not trying to do that much of a look right now. Because it's literally the night time. And I'm doing my makeup just because, you know. Just figured. Why not? I mean, I just got this palette. So I might as well just experiment with it and just make a little video you know since i haven't been doing videos in about a week or two 
but yeah i'm back next i'm gonna set my face with my elf mist and illuminating setting powder powder what bro spray <clears throat> then i'm gonna do my inner corner with the top shade and the shade is called uh, what is it called glare it's called glare and um well, i'm past that right now but um then i'm gonna do my bottom lash line and i'm gonna do it in the first shade that i did which is called <clears throat> uh, um, heat wave no i think that's naked that is totally naked totally naked Okay, the reason why I chose these lashes is because they're really small and they're simple and it's not a thing too big so the look won't look like in your face and so it looks really, the lashes go really well with the eyeshadow. I didn't want it to cover the eyeshadow, I wanted the eyeshadow to stand for its own. And um, Salon Perfect, their lashes, lash bands are pretty skinny. That can sometimes be a good thing and it sometimes can be a bad thing. Like lately, I've been wearing lashes with thick lash bands and I'm not used to it. And my eyes are kind of like, oh, you have on lashes? So like with thick lash bands, your eyelashes are always feeling, your eyes are always feeling really heavy. But with these, my eyes don't feel heavy at all. Next, I'm going to line my lips up with a brown lip liner. It's just any old regular brown lip liner. I use um, one from the Beauty Supply. Then I'm going to go with my Smashbox um, Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Stay Neutral. Um, this lipstick is kind of, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, but just don't put too much on it. Your lips will look really dry. I had to put like a good two swipes on and my lips were fine. So Next I'm going to do my highlight and I haven't used liquid highlighter in a while, but this is NYX Liquid Illuminator in the color born to glow i like this one a lot because it gives me a really natural glowy look Okay, y'all, that is it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And please turn on your post notification bell. Um, I will be doing more makeup videos. This was just like a kind of tester for the palette. Um, So far, so good. I like the colors in the palette. As it says on the box, they are very pigmented. And, I, uh, and they are also easy to blend. Um, Peep the highlight. It's like sometime at night. I'm not going nowhere. I just did my makeup just to do it. But um but yeah. We're out. We're done. Peace. Goodbye. Aloha. Where's Alexis? I think I think I said that wrong. I don't care. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Thank you.